Welcome back to my channel. I am so happy because After five years, I'm finally back in Suriname. For the ones who don't know yet, I was born in Suriname, but I grew up in the Netherlands. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating like crazy. But my family lives there. I'm always so happy to see them again because yeah, it's like far away from the Netherlands. So I'm always happy to see them again. It was actually very funny because nobody knew except my uncle. Everyone was surprised. It was very fun to see how everyone reacted. Yeah, I'm so happy to be back. But yeah, the, the first couple of days. Oh, that's, that's Ash. <laughs> But the first couple of days, I didn't film anything because I really wanted to zone out. I wanted to enjoy my time with my family. Yeah, I don't know. Since I came here, I was very calm. I'm in a relaxed mode. Just like that, I was like in a different mode. This is my outfit. A very cute dress from Zara. Back from Zara. And my hair is very funny. I didn't use any heat tools. I just braided my hair. And this is what it looks like the next day. So I love it. No heat tools. It's giving wavy beach vibes. I don't know. But I love it. But yeah, I'm so super excited. I'm so happy to be back. And I can't wait to show you what Suriname looks like. <laughs> This is the big entrance of Saraya. <laughs> hey guys, it's the next day already. Yesterday I didn't vlog anymore, but we really enjoyed it yesterday. It was very fun. The weather was great and the water was amazing. I look very pale because I don't have any makeup on. But we are now in Cabendador, which is a village of our family. So we are here and we are going to uh, swim. I'm gonna show you guys. I still have a little anxiety while vlogging, but I'll show you. So we're here with a little camp and this is the place. Do you have a ball? Okay. So this is the water. And yeah, we're basically swimming in nature or sort of the jungle. I also wear like fake Crocs because I can't uh, with the water. It's very black so you can't see anything. How's the water, Ash? How's the water? <laughs> Is it koud? <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> no? Oh, okay. Mm. 
Hey guys, we're back. It's currently 9.30 in the evening. We didn't stay very long because it was raining and we were very tired, but we really enjoyed it. As you can see, I'm tired and I'm very pale actually. Hmm. I need to get a tan. I noticed that I'm really struggling with vlogging because I really want to enjoy my time with the family. I just feel like living in the moment and I didn't do that like in a very long time. So I really want to enjoy every moment with my family and yeah, I don't know. I totally forget about social media and everything. And I just feel so peaceful. That's why I forget to vlog and I still have a sort of little anxiety with vlogging and yeah, I still need to get over it. But I'm trying my best for you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm going to try to vlog as much as possible from now on. For tomorrow, we don't really have a planning yet, but yeah, we'll see. Okay guys, my nieces are waiting, so we're going to play some games. Bye. So we're playing games. Who's winning? You want to make your big entrance? <laughs> she wanted to be in a vlog, so make your big... <laughs> okay, so who are you? Tell the vlog who you are. I'm <laughs> I'm And she is like my first little niece. And then we have Jael, who is always winning this game. That's erg in yeah. Dutch. And who's Sorry. winning? Sorry. Who's winning the game? Not Ash. Not Ash? Uh, <laughs> who's winning? Uh, one, two, three. Sarai. Oh, oh Sarai is winning. Ay, ay. Really? So I won the game. I was green and I was the first one in house. Yes. Hey guys, it's the next day already. We just came back from the hairdresser because Ash really wanted to go to a hairdresser but I'm not sure if he's really happy with the result. But yeah, we just came back. It's currently 2 p.m. Yeah, we're planning to go to the city to do some drinks or to grab something to eat. And yeah, I think that's it for today. Not something special, but just a relaxed day. This is my outfit, by the way. I love it. White linen trousers and a beige top. I love the color, it's very cute. So when it comes to my hair, I want to take a break from using any heat tools because when I'm in Holland for work, I always use like a hair strainer or a hair curler or anything like that. So I just want to take a break so my hair can grow healthier again. But when I'm back, I need to go to a hairdresser as well because it's very long actually. So when I'm back, I'll go to a hairdresser to fix my hair. And by the way, I'm using the ELF Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I'm loving it so far. It's actually, wait, sorry. It's actually the Charlotte Tilbury Liquid Filter Tube. I'm not sure what it's called again, but it's the same like this one, which is only 16 euros. And the one from Charlotte Tilbury is 40 euros, which is quite expensive compared to this one. So I'm loving this so far. It's giving a healthy looking skin look, but I have some little pimples here. My skin needs to get used to the climate of Suriname, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm not worried about it. I'll, it will fade away. I don't know. So I'm not using any concealer, no foundation. Just the Halo Glow liquid filter from e.l.f. I'm loving it so far. So just that mascara and I'm good to go because it's way too hot to use foundation or anything like that but I'm loving the natural look so far okay so Ash is waiting for me <laughs> uh, we're going so yeah I'll take you with me as usual and I hope you enjoy it We just arrived in Fort New Amsterdam. So Suriname used to be colonized by the Netherlands. But yeah, they still have this place called New Amsterdam. And you can walk here and take some pictures. Look how beautiful the palm trees are. And it's very quiet and green. So when you walk up here, you have this beautiful view of the water. Look how beautiful. 
Oh, hi doggy. Oh, we hebben geen water. Hè? Hi cutie. Hi cutie. You're such a cutie. Hey. Oh, that's the thing in Suriname. Like they have these three dogs, and I feel so bad for them. Also these puppies, and I just feel bad for them. But they are so nice. Hey! I have them all Oh, this cute dog is walking with us. <laughs> like it's our dog. <laughs> this is honestly such a beautiful place. I've been here before and this is the first time that I'm realizing how beautiful this place is or how beautiful the view is. Like it's so peaceful, even though history behind it isn't peaceful, of course, but it's a very beautiful place. It's so quiet. Look guys, there's one big fish over there. It's such a big fish. Bro. Look at that. It's such a I've never seen this before. But it's stinky. It smells like fish. Okay, watch out. <laughs> okay, I'm scared. So we better not fall in the water because the water is dirty. <laughs> it's dirty. And there's also another dog over there. What is that? What do you that? Is it a bird? Huh? Hey, you see it on the set? Yeah. Yeah, I see. I'm scared. Nee, ik ga dit niet doen, man. Nee, kom niet. Ja, het is anders is los, hè. Nee, hier is het best Ah, doe ik. Kan ik die kamer? Waar staat het? Waarom zit het? The first Indian people came with the boat and the boat is called La La Vu and these are the first people that arrived from India in Suriname. So you can see it here. This is the statue of the first Indian people who arrived in Suriname. Like yeah, so I, I'm trying to explain it. Okay, so in Suriname we have like multiple cultures. You have the Native American people, so that's what we are. Yes. Like we are the Native Americans, the first people oh. living in South America or Suriname in this case. Then we have the African people, the Maroons, because yeah, the slavery. Then we have the Indian people, Indonesian people, Chinese people. Like there are so many cultures. Why? Yeah. Yeah, the white people, they are the farmers. Americans. Yeah, but the main cultures are Native Americans, the Maroons or the African people, the Indian people, the Indonesian people. Those are like the main cultures here, right? Yeah. So many cultures. We have so many cultures, but that's what makes Suriname such a beautiful country, I think. Almost every event is celebrated together with all cultures together, which is beautiful. So yes, that was a little explanation about Suriname. Maybe I didn't explain that well, but I tried my best. So this is called Fort New Amsterdam. Fort New Amsterdam. Definitely recommend if you're coming to Suriname to visit this beautiful place. And there's another doggo. Hi doggy. Oh. Okay, so we're back in the car and we're now going to the inner city of Paramaribo or Paramaribo in English to grab something to eat and to drink something because we are very thirsty and we're sweating like crazy, right? 
right, girls? <laughs> Wake up! You're sleeping! You're sleeping. So we're now at the inner city and we're going to eat now. It looks so good. We're so hungry. I'm starving, guys. I'm starving. Bon appetit, guys. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. <laughs> it's a couple of days later. I was very tired and didn't feel like vlogging. I just wanted to relax. So that's why I didn't vlog. But we didn't do very much as well. So that's why I didn't feel like vlogging but we went to ash's family and we went to their garden and we picked some fruits which was very nice and then the next day which was yesterday uh, we went to the mall i have this crazy addiction for slippers here in south america you have ipanema which is a slipper store or slipper heaven and always when i come to Suriname, i always need to buy a pair of slippers and yesterday i bought these look how cute they are I love them, like they are Brazil vibe and I also bought these, what I have them on look how cute they are I am obsessed, the color is so cute I love it since I'm here, I already bought three pairs of slippers so you can tell I'm addicted to the Ipanema store I want more, oh yeah, we also tried the McDonald's here which I do not recommend because they only had coke and water for drinks, nothing else and the food wasn't that good as well but it was cheaper than in Holland so that was a plus but I do not recommend going to McDonald's in Suriname but today we're going to Boaca which is a village where you can swim just like a Benda door so we're going with the whole family i just got ready and i'm waiting for the family to be ready as well let me show you my outfit so this is my outfit it's giving bitchy vibes with my cute flip flops i am obsessed with them look how cute and then i got this cute bag from zara it was only 20 euros and i love it super cute and yeah so this is my outfit sorry don't look at my hair but we are finally at the water. it's currently three o'clock and we're going to swim it's very busy so we're excited we have food with us and drinks and everything so we're going to swim because we have say that that the we have three water. hours left so we need to hurry up We are back home again. It was a very fun day. I really enjoyed it. Can I have a moment now? Okay. Um, it was a very fun day. Uh, we really enjoyed it with the family. There was a very good vibe. There was music, there was food, and it was just a a good fight we really enjoyed it it started raining but yeah we went swimming anyway so it didn't matter actually the water was very good for my skin as you can see my skin is very soft my pimples are clearing up finally so i'm very happy and my skin is like glowing can you see it oh, i need to wash my hair um i also made some content over there but i think i have some very good pictures um, because it was in nature and it was a very nice view over there so I think I have some very beautiful pictures it was a very nice day I'm very tired I'm sweating as well so I need to shower but I'm too lazy but I have to go anyways uh, for now I'm laying in this 
hammock hemp i don't know what this thing is called in english but yeah for now i think i'm gonna end the first part of this travel vlog yeah the first couple of days was very chill and relaxed i didn't vlog as much as i wanted to but i think the second part will be different i'll, I'll try my best you want to be in the vlog Oh yeah, so these insects are like everywhere, annoying. Like every morning, every evening, and we're, no. we're they are so annoying. They are everywhere, like they are flying around and walking around everywhere. When you're going to the, the bathroom, you see them everywhere. It's so annoying. I just wanted to end the first part of the travel vlog. <laughs> Okay, so what I was saying, um, I think I'm gonna end the first part of the travel vlog. The first week was very calm and chill. I didn't vlog as much as I wanted to, but I'll try my best the second part to vlog more as much as I can because it's a very beautiful country and I really want to show you how beautiful Suriname is. But for now, I'll end this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next. Bye!